Hello, good day. This is Barnman. And Julio 77. And we welcome you back to Quest Calendars 2024, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Today is Saturday the 17th, as well as Sunday the 18th of February 2024. A.K.A. Stars Day and Sun's Day, Snow's End. Yesterday, Cora fell down the pit that was created in the throne room and suffered one damage. Now that she's sitting in the dark, Fari, the fireflies creating just a little bit of light, you move along the tunnel until you hear a noise up ahead. You approach quietly. They appear to be talking amongst themselves and haven't noticed you yet. We have a choice to make. We can either follow behind the insects in hope of eavesdropping or attack. Let's follow behind. Follow behind. We need to go ahead and do a dexterity roll and we are being sneaky and trying to stay hidden. So we get to plus two. So that is a plus four. Nat 20. Nat 20. We get to keep our boon. Let's put the boon right there. Cora can hear the insects talking. We've done it. Our mission is complete. We can leave now. They can't stop us. Their precious shoe will be dead soon. King Rasset will be pleased. They will suffer as we suffered. Rasset will reward us. Now let's go. The insects grow quiet as they turn back to retreat further into the cave. You decide you've heard enough and you attack them from the shadows of the tunnel. There's going to be two insects that we are going to be attacking here. You get a jump surprise on the first insect. Your attack is a plus four. What's our uh, plus for surprise? In this case, you don't you don't necessarily surprise them this way. Stri Cora strikes out with- Wait, can I use my boom? You could use your boom. And do it. Okay. Three. Add the boom. Cora, taking her cutlass, strikes out at the first insect, hitting it from behind, smashing its carapace, and doing two a total of two damage. It is ever so slightly harmed, but not dead. The insect turns around, lashes out with its claws, slicing toward Cora. Cora deftly jumps out of the way. Or uses her shield. Using her shield to deflect the insect's claw only suffers one damage. Takes it to a 14. The second insect begins to turn around. Cora lunges at it. Nine again. A nine again hits the insect, but does no damage to it. It glints off its leg. The insect is emboldened, lashes toward Cora with both claws. That is a one and three. Cora successfully deflects with the Blossom Royal Shield, but stumbles in the dark, hits the wall, and suffers one more damage. The insects become spooked and run off down the corridor into the darkness. Well, we're in the dark. Why not do some Sunday lottery? I, I suppose what time better than now? And it's a one, one, one. Well, Cora loses two amber. The three we stole from our mother is pretty good. I guess that ends today. And we hope that you have a good rest of your weekend or whatever day you might be watching this on. Yeah. We'll catch you again next week. Bye. Goodbye.